So on the bottom footer, we have the copyright info. And this is our fourth part of the footer. So let's work on that. So on the HTML, I'm going to create a container for that content. So let me start with a comment, which is start the copyright info. So here I'm going to create a class called footer bottom. So inside that we need a cloud container. So I'm going to create that container and a row with a class of text center and a class of text white. And then tab. So inside that row we need a class or a column. So I'm going to use call 12. Then inside the column, I'm going to create another class or another container for the copyright content. So we have footer bottom and then underscore underscore copyright. So from the layout here, we have the copyright symbol and then the text. So I'm going to copy the entire text. And then you're going to start with that symbol. So we have the code, copy. We have it here. And then the text. So we have copyright 2021 and then here we need a link. So I'm going to create that link. And then paste. And then here also we need a link. And then paste. So I'm going to save. Let's see how it looks like on the browser. So now you can see we have the text at the bottom. And that is the copyright info. So the next thing now is to style that content. So on the footer.scs I'm going to start by setting the background color for the footer bottom. So let's go to that file and then at the bottom here I'm going to start with a comment which is style the copyright footer or basically content. So we have that class footer bottom. So here we have the background color. And I'm going to use black. So we have that color on the SAS file. And then here I'm going to nest it the way we've done on the HTML. So we have underscore underscore copyright. So I'm going to set the color to gray 600. So we have that color gray 600 and then font weight I'm going to set that to 400 then we need to style the links again inside the copyright so we have a link and here I'm going to set the color to gray 300 so we have gray 300 And then text decoration, we're going to set that to none. So I'm going to save. Let's see from the browser. So now that is our copyright. So we need to add some padding. So on the HTML, where we have that class, I'm going to add padding top and padding bottom. So we have padding top. I'm going to set that to 5. And then padding bottom, also 5. And then I'm going to save. Let's see again. And there you have it. Now you can see it's much better. So the next thing now is to create the hover. 
So we need the links to turn to our primary color. So on the footer, inside the link, you're going to create that hover effect. So we have hover. So the color, we're going to set that to primary. And then text decoration, we're going to set that to underline. Underline. So I'm going to save, let's see. So now if you try to hover the links, you'll see we have that hover, which is our primary color. So we need also to make sure that our footer bottom or copyright info is fully responsive. So I'm going to right click and inspect element to see from other devices. So that is how the content looks like on a small device, which is with a screen window of 360. So I'm going to switch to another device, another smaller device, Pixel 2. Again, you can see our content is fitting nicely. On that device let's go for our a medium device again our content is fitting nicely on that screen device so with that we can move on by creating the next item which is the back to top button so you can see it here we have this back to top so on the HTML I'm going to create that button at the end of the footer so here we have a comment first which is back to top button so we're going to create it as a link so we have the link with a class of shadow and a class of btn primary to give it that purple color and then we need to give it that rounded circle. So we're going to add that class, which is rounded circle. So we have tab. And then inside the link, we need that icon. So you can see here from the layout. So we have this Chevron app icon, and that is a font awesome icon. So here we have the icon with a class of font or some solid. And the name of that icon is Chevron app. So I'm going to save. Let's see how it looks like. So on the left here, the bottom left, you can see we have the icon already. So the next thing now is to style it and make sure that you position it at the right bottom. So inside the footer, so the bottom here, I'm going to start with a comment, which is style the back to top button. So here I'm going to create a class, which is going to position and style that button. So I'm going to call it back to top. So I'm going to set the position to fixed. That is the first property that I'm going to have. So we have fixed. And then set the width and the height of that button. So we have width. I'm going to use 3rm. And also the height. Also 3rm. Then I'm going to set the position from right so we have right 1.875 rem and also the position from bottom also i'm going to use 1.875 rem also we need to set the z index So here I'm going to set a higher number. So we have 9999. And then I'm going to save. 
and then we need to add this class where we have that button so after the rounded circle paste back to top class and then i'm going to save let's see from the browser and there you have it you can see now we have that rounded button so the next thing is to position this icon at the center of that circle or the rounded circle so here you're going to nest it we have icon and then we have the color and the font size so i'm going to set first the color so we have color so white and then the font size so the font I'm, font size i'm going to use one rem and then we need to position at the center so we're going to include that mixing so we have include and the name of that mixing is absolute center and then close i'm going to save let's see and there you have it now you can see you have the icon at the center of that rounded circle or the button so now if you click the button you'll be able to scroll to the top and you can see the button is already working so click again and there you have it so with that we are done with that part